<laughs> squares. I'm getting squares this time. <laughs> but uh, so that, that was all I had. Um, Mayor, do you have anything for us tonight? Just uh, real quickly, it, as you had mentioned at the start of the meeting, Steve, about the uh, postponement of the recognition of uh, the unprecedented accomplishments of Archbishop McCarthy's uh, baseball team. I spoke to Alex Hernandez yesterday, and the principal's out of town, Tony Macero, the athletic director, out of town and on vacation. The kids are playing ball out of, uh, out of Florida, and there's only three kids who are even in town, and most of the coaches are out of town as uh, well. So they thought the best time to reschedule it was the second week of school where they'll have just about uh, everybody there with the exception of uh, possibly some of the graduating seniors. So we thought that that was a good idea to reschedule it, to uh, recognize as many of those as we, uh, as we could. So uh, it looks like the second week in uh, – of school, which would probably be towards the end of August. I'm not sure if it's the next meeting or probably the following meeting, but we'll let you all know. And uh, with uh, the exception of uh, that, that's all I have, Steve. Thanks. Okay, great. Thank you, Mayor. Okay, that concludes uh, council member comments, uh, legal comments. Sure. Thank you. I'll try to be brief. Um, to let the residents know, I sent the council an email. Uh, the final case that uh, Pops Gun Range and uh, Sharon Glass filed against the town uh, was dismissed by the court. So that means that all three cases uh, have effectively been dismissed um, by the court, and which means that the town now is required to proceed with its code enforcement proceeding um, on it, and that the court has ruled that there's nothing uh, that can intervene in, in that. So I just want to mention that. Um, I've been called by several residents. So I just want to address two issues. One, uh, in re regards to the Nick's property uh, trail easement, um, it is still sitting on their desk, and uh, we're hoping that the Nick's will sign it to give uh, that access that the residents are looking for to the equestrian park as quickly as possible. I've also been asked by several residents, what's the story with Carrillo property? That's a barn that the town actually uh, is in second position on there's still a bank mortgage but the bank uh, is not going to foreclose on it and uh, Creo um, challenged service of process and we're going to court next week uh, on the service issue and hopefully after that that matter will be resolved uh, one other issue that I got a call on this week it's been the second time in two months and I just want to make it clear to anyone watching out there and everyone here if you are riding a horse and the horse uh, trips and falls um, and you get injured as a result of it, the Florida statutes is clear that there's no liability on anyone because you are partaking in a dangerous activity. I've now had the second resident call me who's been sued by a resident in the town who was riding their horse and the horse tripped and fell as it was crossing their asphalt driveway. Uh, in fact, I was with uh, Councilman McKay when the call came in, and it's the same thing over again, you know, that they're attacking their insurance policy, and uh, the law doesn't permit it, so I just wanted to mention that uh, again. Um, I was thrilled to see Andy's email right before I left my office that um, the project uh, that was the pilot project uh, for drainage has now been permanent, and uh, it's wonderful to know that. For the town, I, I heard Ruth speak previously, and when you speak about uh, people who are, are uh, influential in the history of the town, that was uh, to me, and I know it worked hard with, with all the council, but Charlie Lynn, uh, that was really, um, it shows as a legacy to him because that's something that he had everyone working on nonstop uh, with, with uh, the council to get achieved. So it's great to see that finally uh, has come to fruition and congratulate everyone on that. That's it. Great. Thank you, Keith. Administrative comments? Thank you, Vice Mayor. I'll actually be brief tonight myself. Uh, the first is uh, Council Member Jablonski has brought up in the past, and he actually missed it tonight, so I'm just going to catch up on the uh, Council Member Jablonski had requested that we put a little paddock in a, a horse parking lot, so to speak, in front of Town Hall. And I just want to let you all know that uh, December has met with Kathy Cox from the Trail Riders. They've marked out an area. I know they have it flagged out there. And the intent is the town will purchase the materials and the, and the Trail Riders will, will be putting that, uh, that together. So we expect to have that done sometime in the next couple of months, depending on when they coordinate their volunteers. But uh, 
you know, I know Gary, you had brought this up. I don't mean to steal your thunder, but I no. just, <laughs> just want to let you know we're, we are moving forward with that, share that with, with certainly with everyone here this evening. Uh, the other thing, obviously, is a bulk update, and I know you're all waiting on that. And uh, actually, the SWS I, route manager, I believe is his title, is Alex Usan, and Alex is actually here this, this evening, so I'm glad that he was able to hear some of the comments. Uh, during the council meeting a couple of weeks ago, this was obviously a very hot topic, and I told you at that time that, uh, that I certainly understood it, and it was something that uh, you know that administration would address uh, as soon as I got back from vacation. I was away last week. Uh, yesterday, uh, I'm sorry, Tuesday, I met with, with Alex and general manager of SWS, and we had a, a, I'll say, lengthy discussion where I was able to go through the concerns that we have with, with the problems that... Uh, the recurring problems, and really, I'd say we, we, we really narrowed it down to really three recurring problems. One is gouging with the with the clam when they do the pickup. The other is obviously running behind, and the third being working very sloppy, working very messy. And, and I know that that's fueled by running behind, and they're trying to catch up, and now they're not cleaning up after themselves. So we we, we made it very clear that 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 just can't continue. Uh, they had said that they had had ramped up based on some numbers that they were furnished. And based on what our previous collections were, which were about 500 tons per, per collection point, and we're now, because we've gotten into the, the growing season over the last couple of months, we're actually running closer to 700 tons. So there, there is more waste that's out there. I'm sure a lot of it is yard waste and, and landscaping Pumped. materials. But, but their response and the commitment that they gave us, which, which we heard yesterday, is that uh, the, the eight trucks that are currently doing the pickup in our town, uh, as of two weeks from now, which will be the next pickup week, will be supplemented and they will have 12 trucks on the road here in Southwest Ranches. And, and we're certainly hopeful that that's going to alleviate some of the problems that we have. Uh, we've discussed some other ideas with them as well, but, but right now I'm hopeful that going from eight to 12 trucks is really going to make the difference for us, give them a little bit more breathing room, let them slow down, let them work a little bit neater and, and, and still keep us on time. So uh, we'll continue to watch that. We'll certainly do what we need to do to, to make our point and to, uh, to improve on the service levels we've seen over the last, uh, I'll say, month or two. And uh, I think they understand it's not acceptable, and they'll be working with us on that front. So I did want to share that with all of you and, and, and certainly with anybody else uh, who has concerns on the bulk. So I think we're going to see a change on that uh, starting with the, the next collection period. Following closely on that, one of the things that we've discussed, and. We've had some, some questions out of some of our HOAs and some others on household hazardous waste and you know, specific things like tires and other things. Uh, I had furnished the vice mayor before. The county is still continuing to collect free through the end of September, but our new, our new contract with Sun Bergeron calls for up to four collection points during the course of the year, and we will be meeting with Sun Bergeron next week to get that, that first household hazardous waste uh, collection point scheduled. And uh, we'll do everything we can to get the word out, share that with our residents, to make it easy for them. And that's uh, really all I have for you tonight. Thank you. Very good. Thank you, Andy. Okay, item number nine, resolution. Erica, if you could read it into the record. A resolution of the town council of the town of Southwest Ranches, Florida, approving an agreement with Behar Construction Incorporated for one hundred thousand. I'm sorry, one hundred four thousand four hundred sixty-four dollars and eighty-two cents, which includes the base bid only to complete the construction of a playground area, two open field play areas, multi-purpose trail and drainage improvements at Fishing Hole Park, authorizing the mayor, town administrator, and town attorney to enter an agreement and providing an effective date. Great, thank you. Um, do I have a motion on that? I'll make a motion for second. I'll second. Yep. Great, okay. thank you. Okay. So um, okay. mm -hmm. this has to do with construction in uh, the uh, Fishing Hole Park, and uh, Andy, I think you've got uh, some background on this. I just, I just want to share with you, the original draft book that you had, had uh, it was, uh, I believe, 204, 207,000, which included some of the additive bids, and that's been revised. So the motion that, that you have in front of you now at the present time has been scaled back to the, the original base bid and, and some other supplements with that, and it's, uh, that's a total of 104,000. That bid was put together by the town engineer, Willie Nabong, at, at my direction to make sure that he included everything possible, uh, I'll say from soup to nuts, so that we had pricing on anything that we might possibly need throughout this process. 
There are some things in there that uh, may be incidental or may not be necessary. Willie is unfortunately out of town. He's attending a floodplain manager class and exam to keep his accreditation, which is something the town certainly needs. So he's not able to be here tonight. I know that Emily McCord has spent an awful lot of time on this as well. I know she's going to be able to speak to, uh, to it. And uh, I'll also let you know that in the back of the room is Benny Behar, which is the, uh, the contractor, uh, prospective contractor for this project. Okay, good. I think it would be beneficial, um, Emily, maybe if you can just give us, because um, the residents are here, may not be aware of all the components on it. There's uh, several parts of this. If you can just kind of give an overview of what's included so that uh, when we have our discussion, we're all kind of on the same page. Absolutely. Good evening, Mayor and Council. My name is Emily McCord. In the mic a little more, please. Thank okay. you. Sorry. Um, this bid um, includes the multi-purpose trail at the north end of the park, which is located at 190th and Griffin Road. It also includes uh, the earthwork for the playground area, the pavilion, and the restroom. As the council knows, we've received grants for these components. Um, so we need to get the earthwork done, and this is part of our match, is the earthwork to get this done. It also includes some necessary drainage components such as extending the pipe at the existing driveway. As most of you know, we already have a parking lot out there. So it also has a swale along that driveway and connecting into the pipe. There's an under drain going around the playground, so it will remain dry. And it has a pipe going out to the canal, which is on the eastern end of that project. OK, great. Great, thank you. So I, uh, Freddie, you have some yeah. comments? Yeah, Steve, really, like I say, is uh, this has been my baby for a while, so you know. Uh, and I kind of got behind on it. Uh, I really intended to be at the, uh, the when they were out in the field to do the, to uh, look at the bid, and uh, I got <laughs> crossed up on my date. I thought it was Friday, and it was on Monday, so I didn't get to do the bid. I get to be there. Uh, so I went to Willie, and I got the uh, bid figures once he did and I was very surprised how high they were uh, because I, I really hadn't seen as much as they're doing there. So what I did, I asked Willie because all I had was this first sheet. Uh, then I got Willie to give me these following sheets which I had the town administrator uh, Sandy do for you all to. And when I got to looking at them there was things there that really concerned me. And if you want to look at them I'm looking at the one that says bid and, uh, and proposal form uh, and just look at the second one there where it says furnish and, install, and install fill and grade playground area. Well, we know we got our fill out there. So I talked to Willie and I've talked to Emily about this too. And this they said was put in there strictly to uh, um, in case we didn't have enough fill. Uh, but so then there's another place on there too. But really what concerned me more than anything and I talked to Keith about it this morning. I talked to Willie about it yesterday, and I talked to him again about it today. I didn't see anything in here for him moving all that fill from where it was to the other. And what I did today, uh, I got a copy of the of the print, which I never had before. And I went and made some copies. I made everybody a copy of that particular sheet. And believe it or not, this is the first time I've seen the elevations of those places in there. And I'm very concerned because I was told that that whole area where the pavilion and the uh, uh, bathroom and the playground was gonna be the same elevation. And, but now when I look at it, that's not true. Uh, and I'm really concerned that some of those elevations and some of those things that are there, uh, I'm, I'm, uh, in fact, there's the gentleman sitting in the back room, I think he's here mainly because I requested them to be here because I needed some answers. I've actually found some of the answers myself because once I looked at this trench, but if you look at it, uh, I was in the impression the playground was going to be elevated. The playground right now is almost the same elevation as the parking lot on our plans. I think that's, I think we're making a mistake. I think we need to bring that up some. Uh, and then we've got some pockets in there. If you look at, you look at the pavilion, it's it's nine feet and you look at outside the pavilion it's six feet we got a three three foot drop there's a hole there it's going to be a water hole you know there's some areas in there that i think we need to bring the fill up we've got to the fill there and it's just a matter of 
if we can work out something with him, like if you look at this, there's one item there that I don't think he needs. There's 4,000 furnishing a stall field in the, in the playground area. Uh, now, the furnishing part, I don't know how much that was, but then some, but there's some other. So maybe there's some things, if we pass this tonight, that we can, we can work with him to, to do some of the things that we need to be done. Uh, there's a certain things I, that I think need to be done at this time. I'm not so sure that the uh, that uh, multi-use trail has to be done now. I I the reason I say that I, I'm concerned we're not going to have enough money to finish the project because if you look at all this, there's no money in any of these bids at all for the playground pub. There's nothing here for the construction of the bathroom, and uh, so we we we're, we're way, way we, we, we're running pretty close to what the money that we've even got set aside right now. But I think a lot of my concerns have already been answered by myself. Uh, but I, I'm, I'm really concerned. We can use a lot of the fill over in the play area because it's coming up a foot and stuff like that. But I think it'd be to our benefit to raise some, some of those elevations in that area. And that's something I would need to know whether he could answer that for us, whether we got those, uh, where we can, if we pass it tonight, do we have that much leverage that we can work some of that stuff around? That's, uh, oh, Keith is gone. <laughs> the gentleman's back Great. there. I don't know who would have to answer. Okay. That. Yeah, Andy, do you have and uh, if, if, if I may, to, to answer council member's question, you know, Emily, Emily and I had spent some time on this before trying, because much of this is obviously time is of the essence as far as the playground and those things that we need to move on. So Emily and I went through it before. We've identified out of that 104 about $25,000 that's certainly not critical that, that could be could certainly be removed from, from what we potentially award tonight. The other thing is I, I know that Benny's here. Uh, you know, I would certainly ask him to come forward uh, as far as moving fill on site. If the fill is there and just putting it in place, if the elevation chart changes slightly, if, if, if that would impact the pricing. Uh, for those of you who haven't met, this is Benny Behar, who's the contractor of record. He's also the contractor who's handled our town hall improvements, the, uh, the generator, the, uh, the flagpole, the dumpster enclosure, et cetera. Great. Welcome. How you doing? Um, I do agree with you. There are some areas, especially around where the bathroom is, that it will become a, a, a water pit. Um, in reference to the uh, playground, if you want to move some of the fill on site and bring that up, I don't have a problem with that. Yeah. Um, there was a discussion at the uh, pre-bid about using that fill and around the, uh, the um, construction site. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, we don't have a problem with doing that. Yeah, I, you know, I, I, if, 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 I, we've already got the fill. We've yes. been fortunate. We've had fill donated to us. Correct. I think it to be to our advantage in some of these places that, that we 